Hey Wealth Lab 8 users, Glitch here. Today, let's talk about what's new in Wealth Lab 8 build 75 and 74. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to run a 10 year back test using the knife juggler and sample strategies. And let's take a quick look at metrics report. And I'm looking here at the benchmark result. So the benchmark shows you what would have happened if you would have bought a specific symbol at the beginning of the back test and just held it throughout the whole period. And we have our benchmark here set to use SPY. So if you look at the equity curve, we see the results of the strategy in green. And then the white line is just buying and holding SPY as a comparison. But in the metrics report now, we can see for the benchmark result, we have actually 43 positions. So this is because now WealthLab 8 will reinvest any dividends collected by the benchmark. Uh, so that you could see that the exposure of the benchmark will now be very close to 100% because the benchmark is now reinvesting all of those dividends. So if we look at our monthly returns, we should see the benchmark annual return for SPY lining up much more closely with what people typically see as the annual result for SPY for various years because it's now reinvest investing those dividends. Okay, so next let's look at preferences and our genetic evolver preferences. So last time we covered these new tabs uh, by in short where you can drop conditions in here that will be injected into every evolved strategies entry blocks. We added corresponding sell and cover tabs here. So in these tabs you will drag exit blocks. So let's say You'll drag a complete cell at market, for example, and then I will inject a condition into there. Let's say indicator compared to value. And let's say time of day is greater than, let's say that we want to exit all trades by 3.30. So that would be, 13.30 if we're running intraday. So with this block now in place and preferences, when I open up a new genetic evolver window and click on a, one of the random strategies, so we can see that it injected that cell block. Uh, it's gonna inject that cell block after each buy block. So this particular random strategy has two buy blocks. So in each of those uh, entry blocks below that, it injected our exit block. So these will be applied to all randomly generated strategies in the Evolver. Just another way for you to control what's happening in the genetic Evolver. So next, let's take a look at our quick ref, which is over here uh, in Wealth Lab 8. So the quick ref, uh, if I open up a coded strategy, if I click on any of the keywords in the strategy, it will automatically bring up the quick ref entry. What's new now in build 74 is we added a search. So we can search the quick ref here and type in something you know that may not have come up or you may not have been able to find before, like maybe the, the limit move order type. So we click return, we have now all of the results of limit move and we can zero in on where that is in the quick ref with the new quick ref search capability. So also here on the WealthLab website, if we go to support WealthLab framework, we integrated search on the website framework. So you get the same results and Search is now available on the web and in WealthLab 8. So finally, we have one more thing to cover and that's in trading preferences. So we go to preferences trading. We have this new option uh, here at the bottom, convert limit stop to market if current 
quote, exceeds price. So that's a mouthful, but all it does is in a limit or stop order that was generated from a strategy, if it's during market hours, well, if this option is selected, Wealthlab will first attempt to get a current quote for that symbol. And if it sees that the quote is beyond the order's price, it will transform that order into a market order before submitting it to the broker. So hopefully this will help some situations where prices have gapped significantly overnight, causing brokers to cancel limit stop orders that had been placed on the previous uh, day at the end of the market. Uh, so that's what this is intended for, and hopefully this will save some trouble when that situation occurs. So that's it for this video. A couple, a handful of good new features for Wealthlab 8 build 75 and 74. So thanks for watching as always everyone. Thank you for the support and I'll see you all on the Wealthlab forums.